Congratulations on growing herbs in your tower garden. Now you're ready to harvest. Each herb is harvested differently. Keep these things in mind when harvesting basil. Unlike other plants where you get a one-off harvest, you can and should harvest basil continuously. Harvesting makes basil more productive and gives the plant a stronger structure. Once your plants have developed six to eight pairs of true leaves, you may begin harvesting by pinching or cutting stem tips to promote branching. Pinch one quarter inch above where the plant is branching. Sometimes you will see new leaf growth in the axle of the stem and mature leaf. This is the future branch. Pinch or cut the stem halfway between the lower pair of leaves and the growing tip. Basil is a prolific grower. Once you have harvested from your plants twice, you may need to harvest using the previous procedure as much as twice a week. When your basil plant is established with several branches, don't forget to harvest the lower, larger leaves at the base of the plant. They are the most flavorful. Keep your basil from flowering for as long as possible through regular pinching. When the plant flowers, it signals the end of the growing cycle. The leaves also become less sweet and more bitter during flowering. To harvest an entire plant, cut the whole plant from the tower garden plant site. If you have too much basil to eat fresh, it's time to store it. There are two main methods of basil storage, drying and freezing. If you have harvested an entire plant, split the stems into two bunches. Tie the branches of each bunch together well with twine or yarn. Drape each bunch upside down over a hanger or wall hook in a dry, warm area. If you have harvested individual basil leaves, place them on a cookie sheet or plate and cover them with cheesecloth. Air dry the leaves for several days or until they crumble in large pieces. Basil freezes well. Place whole stem tips in a freezer bag without rinsing. Or if you do rinse, allow them to drain well before putting them in the bag. With its distinct, sweet, and pungent taste, basil is one of the most loved spices in Italy, Asia, and the United States. We hope you enjoy your harvest. Keep these things in mind when harvesting chives. You can harvest chive leaves once your established plants are six inches tall. To harvest, use scissors to simply cut the leaves, leaving two inches of plant material. Don't cut all of the leaves of a clump of plants off at one time. Stick to no more than half. This allows that same clump of plants to be cut over and over again throughout the growing season. Before the plants flower, harvest from the outside edges of the clumps. Cut your chive plants regularly to encourage new bulblets to develop and to prevent leaves from becoming tough and flowers from forming. You can dry them, but chives are most flavorful when used fresh. Extra chives? Freeze them for later. Simply chop up washed leaves into small pieces and freeze them in plastic containers. Fresh or dried chives are the perfect topping for a baked potato and go well in soups or salads. Enjoy your harvest. Keep these things in mind when harvesting parsley. Harvest approximately one-third of the plant at once, working from the outside in. This will keep the parsley healthy and productive. Harvest by snipping off the stalks close to the base, beginning with the outside stalks. If just the tops are cut off and the leaf stalks remain, the plant will be less productive. You can trim parsley throughout the growing season for continual harvest. In fact, if you don't, the plant will become thin, leggy, and much less productive. Trim unhealthy leaf stalks at the base of the plant and discard them. Harvest just before using for the best flavor. Bolting is the rapid expansion of a plant into flowering mode. All plants want to flower to reproduce and create seed. Toward the end of the summer, bolting will begin to occur, sending your plant into fast flowering mode. The plant will appear to quickly expand upward, producing lacy, round flowers. Once parsley has bolted, leaf growth generally slows down and leaves may become bitter tasting. Generally, this isn't desirable and your plant has spent its life cycle. Replace bolting plants by transplanting new seedlings and the cycle begins again. Parsley can be enjoyed on any number of summer dishes. We hope you enjoy your harvest.